Okay, uh, once you have your answer, uh, can you raise your hand? <laughs> so, I uh, think okay, the first question is, uh, it's one of the basic things that I think as a, if you're starting out as a developer, you'll probably encounter this. So, you may not be able to see clearly, but basically this is a sick about situation. And then it just tells you, hey, there's this class that is not uh, key value coding compliant. And then, like, if you're a beginner coder, you'll be like, shit, what do I do next? You have no idea what's happening. You ran everything, you wrote everything perfectly, and then you run it, and then this happens to you, right? So, it's a really, really basic app. It just has, like, one label and one button. And then, you have your ID action over there. So, all you're expecting is you click this, and it runs the ID action, right? But instead, you get your error message. So, does anybody have any idea what my The outlet name is incorrect or the Yes, exactly. So I'll just get really quick to it. But yeah, basically, this is a situation that seen happens a lot of times. So basically, they leaked the ID outlet, they changed it to an action, but the old ID outlet is still safe in storyboard. So they actually have to remove that to clear the error. So yeah, cool. <laughs> Second question might seem familiar to some of you who have come to one of my uh, meetups, right? So basically, this is a this is actually the Philips Hue API. So it's uh, just normal REST API. Right? You're connecting to it via Alamo Fire, and it tells you like some basic stuff uh, like uh, which route to hit, what kind of uh, parameters you need to send, what method, and all that. But you write it out, everything looks perfect to you. So you have your method correct. You put in your parameters. You just want to like change one attribute, but it tells you that hey, maybe the uh, request is invalid, so then you're like stuck there, you're like, trying all day long and you don't really know what's the problem, so anybody maybe have a clue on, based on this, with this information, what the problem might be? <laughs> yes, exactly, that's right. So basically the easiest way to do it is just use Elmo files built in JSON encoder, I'll just turn your regular parameters into uh, JSON encoder. And yeah, that's it. Cool. And if not, then that's it. Anybody else want to? Anything? Any videos or any announcement or shout outs? If not, then I guess uh, that's it for tonight. Thank you for coming. And, uh,